In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a halftone pixel grid effect in Adobe Photoshop. So this is a really easy method in order to create these halftone, metabol, ink bleed kinds of patterns over your designs in Adobe Photoshop. It's really easy to do and the cool thing is it's completely procedural so you can simply drag and drop in different images and the effect will automatically be applied. So without any further ado, let's get started. So we're here in Adobe Photoshop and as you can see, we have the base here. I'm just gonna show you what the base art looks like. It's a fairly lo-fi scan of a Gundam image that I have. If you wanna download these for yourself, I actually have a pack on my website called Mechscans. It's completely free uh, and it contains a lot of robot illustrations and photos and stuff like that, as you can see right here. So if you wanna check that out, I'll put a link in the description down below. And other than that, I just have a simple font that says Gundam. The font is called Triton. I'll link it in the description down below as well. And it simply has a gradient overlay and a drop shadow on it. So what's going on here and how do you achieve this look? I'm just gonna reset everything. I'm just gonna toggle off the textures. It's not really relevant to the video, but it just looks good. And I'm gonna just reset it and do it from scratch. So the first thing that you wanna do is if you have your layers, you should group it, right click and turn it into a smart object. And we're gonna apply some smart filters to this and stack them together in order to create this effect. So the first thing that you wanna do is go to image, adjustments, curves. And this is kind of an optional step, but since it's a smart object, you can just change these later. But I'm gonna make a little bit more contrast in my image so that the shadows are a little bit darker and the highlights are a little bit lighter. Next, we're gonna go to filter, sharpen, unsharp mask and you want to really crank up these values i have my amount set to the maximum of 500 percent as well as the radius to 9.3 pixels this is just to highlight all of the outlines and details in the image again this is also completely optional but it just works really well with this image click on ok now in order to create the halftone effect all you need to do is go to filter pixelate color halftone these settings are usually like a little bit different for you probably but the trick here is to just simply turn all of these channels to the degree of zero and that just means that all of the halftone dots in your filter will be positioned in the same place and the radius is basically the size of the dots so for me that's going to be 12 and let's see what that looks like and as you can see it's colored so let's make this black and white go to image adjustment use saturation and just remove the saturation altogether nearly there as you can see one thing to note like if you want to change the size of the color halftone for example just double click on the color halftone here and change this to let's say 10 and this will make the dot smaller as you can see but we can also just make this really large let's just turn this into 20 and this loses a lot of detail but it's also like a fairly charming thing i guess in my opinion anyways let's go back to 12 and we're gonna go to filter blur gaussian blur and with this gaussian blur what we're going to try to do is we're going to blur out these dots and then we're going to crunch them back together in order to create that meta ball effect to make it seem like all of the dots in the halftone filter are simply like bleeding together if that makes sense i'm going to go with a radius of three pixels and under the adjustments tab let's add in a levels and let's just crunch the black and whites closer together and as you can see we are already here with this effect if we zoom in you can see that the dots are kind of like melting together a little bit and this is not the case if you just turn off the levels and the gaussian blur as you can see they just simply like stay there in the same spot and this will basically just simulate that these will bleed together a little bit better and the cool thing about this is now you have a completely procedural design to work with so if you just for example double click on the color half tone and we'll just increase this to 20 again as you can see everything will just change accordingly if you want to increase the size of the bleed, all you need to do is double click on the Gaussian blur. So let's turn this up to five. And as you can see, this removes some detail, but the bleed will be larger. Let's show the before and after if we zoom in. As you can see, the bleed just loses a lot of detail, but it's also like a fairly interesting effect, I guess. And again, like I said in the beginning of the video, the unsharp mask and the curves are basically optional. So if we turn these off, as you can see, it just has a lot less detail. So what I highly recommend you to do is to recreate this effect for yourself or if you want to, you can download this file on Patreon. The link for that will be in the description down below so you don't have to follow along with this tutorial and simply use this as a mock-up. 
drag and drop in your own design and play around with the settings until you're satisfied. It was a fairly quick tutorial and I hope you enjoyed it and let me know what you create using this tutorial by sending me your designs on my Discord server. Again, the link will be in the description down below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I highly recommend you do so because I have over hundreds of tutorials in Adobe Photoshop, Illustrator and much more. If you're interested in the texture that I use in this video, you can find these textures and many more assets in my web store on dreadlabs.net. If you have any other suggestions for tutorials, let me know in the comments down below. And with all of that being said, this is Tom from Dreadlabs tuning out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.